Good afternoon from New York City. Another lovely day today. Good day for riding the motorcycle. Had it out yesterday for an hour. That's a start, right? Okay, so I want to do two things today. This is black body radiation number four. Planck's radiation law. The second part of Planck's radiation law, if you like, but black body radiation number four. I want to make a correction on yesterday's piece of work, and it's to do with units. Okay, not a huge correction, but it has to be done. All right, units are very important. Most of the text you see, units are omitted for all this stuff, and so students don't know what's going on. Because of the units, they're left out. If you see units of watts, you know you're talking about power. If you see units of watts, um, per unit volume, you know, you're, you're talking about a power density, if that's such a thing. And if there is frequency in there, you're talking about a spectrum. So, first of all, the correction. We have the following. The relationship between the energy density, the spectral energy density, in terms of lambda or nu, either one, either parameter for the spectrum can be used, is equal to 4 pi over c times the spectral radiance, all right? I, lambda, or nu, either one, lambda or nu. So we have to find the units, and I said that they were the same, which was really dumb of me. Let's see why they're not the same. Now the units of this one is watts per square meter per steradian, remember, Force pi star radians is a full sphere. Now we'll choose hertz. It could be meters for wavelength, but I'll just use hertz. Okay? So, I, watts is joules over seconds. We have 1 over meters squared, we have 1 over star radians, and we have 1 over hertz. These are the units of I. Now we'll go 4 pi over c times i. These are the units. Okay. Now 1 over c. is the reciprocal of meters per second. And the reciprocal of meters per second is seconds per meter. So these are the units of U. So now a star radian for a full sphere is just 4 pi. So I'd like to look for a full sphere so we can cancel those two. Seconds cancel, and meters times meters is meters cubed. So basically we get <coughs> units of joules per unit volume per frequency. Well, that's what it should be, because it is an energy density. Joules per cubic meter. Okay, so that's that correction made. Go back and check it. I never actually wrote these down. I just said units are the same, which is the same thing. All right, now we go on to deriving Stefan Boltzmann's law. Uh, I'll use this function here. I could use that one too, but it's harder to integrate. This one is good. Oh, I'll let you get your heads around that first. I very often have a habit of erasing the board too quick. That's because I've got a small bore. All right, you everybody see that? The units of energy density is joules per cubic meter per hertz. It could be joules per cubic meter per wavelength as well. Now, Stefan and Boltzmann, I think the year is 1879. I don't know if that's the time Boltzmann made the adjustment or derived it. Uh, I don't know if well, Stefan first came out of it at that time. But one way or another, I do know that Stefan uh, used a lot of John Tyndall's experimental results. So it couldn't be done without John Tyndall. 
So what we need to do is we need to work out the total power radiated through all frequencies from zero to infinity, d nu, all frequencies of what? This function here, i nu t. function is equal to the beta h nu minus 1, and I don't need to keep these here, I need space more than this. So I'm going to make some adjustments. A very common result in physics is the following. The integral in all of the positive quadrant, positive space over uh, for dx, for x cubed over e to the x minus 1 is pi to the fourth over 15. Standard result, okay? Someday I'll derive it if I have time. But we want to, we want to set this up so that it looks like this. So I take the 2 and the c out. I'm going to adjust this h nu cubed. So I multiply it both below the line by beta cubed. Beta cubed. And now I multiply it both below the line by h squared. So I get on the top h cubed nu cubed beta cubed or h nu beta cubed over beta cubed h squared. These objects are frequency independent. This one is not. This I will keep inside the integral, and this I will uh, take outside the integral, actually. So beta cubed h squared, 1 over. of the integral that I want. So I get another factor of beta h in the dx. So I get x cubed e to the x minus 1 dx is the following. So there's those beta squared. And now I bring this one outside, beta h. And that's our result. Now this one here is pi to the fourth over 15. So now I've got my result. Okay, there it is here. And I have the answer. Now, remember what beta is. It's the thermodynamic temperature, 1 over kT. It's com commonly used all the time. I'll let you get your heads around that. I just want to make sure that we're getting this right result. So I get 2 over 15 CH cubed, uh, and now 1 over beta to the fourth is going to be k to the 4th, t to the 4th over 1. And 
and I get the result. For sigma, Stefan Boltzmann constant, is that result there? QED, all right? So I don't need this now, I'll get off the board. Now this should be per unit area, actually, per unit frequency, over all frequencies. Over all frequencies, because I've integrated out all the frequencies. So this is the intensity. Because I've integrated over the intensity per frequency, uh, in other words, I've integrated over all the different frequencies to get the total intensity, and I've used this result here. So sigma is what? Sigma is 2k to the 4th, 15c h cubed. Check that. How about that? It's correct. Sigma is this result here. Um, I'm going to have to write it down. Five point six seven by ten to the power of eight minus eight watts per meter squared k four. Now, if you go home and check this result, you'll find that that is the case. And I always like to put QED at the end. QED stands for quad erat demonstratum. What was to be shown in Latin? It's also quantum electrodynamics, but QED, quadrat erat demonstratum, which is what we had to show. And that's quite satisfying, I like it. All right, so let's see what we did. We integrated over all the frequencies to get the total intensity, which is power per unit area, which is really power per steradian, four pi, it's a full sphere, uh, per square meter, okay? Integrated over all the frequencies. So you see where that's coming from? And we use Planck's rule to get it. Now I can also use the Planck relationship that I had to derive the Wine's approximation. I used Wine, sorry, Wine's approximation to derive, what did I derive with it yesterday? Wine's, Wine's law, one of Wine's laws I derived, and I also derived the Rady Jean's law. Okay, so application of Planck's uh, function. Another one is coming up. Next time I'll do some more applications where you just Plug in the numbers and get answers, right? That's coming up in a few minutes.